god. What's <laughs> happening? You tell me. I got a steel head at this point after you hit me so much. It's a little overkill for one person. <laughs> That's a lot of munitions. For one guy. <laughs> Do you have a lantern? <laughs> Your fault. How was it? You have a 106 beat per minute. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of high. Hey, look, I forgot we have, like, natural lighting out here. Yeah. Well, I guess it's not natural, but... People are not happy on the radio. Yeah.
You like this spot up here, don't you? I'm not shooting at all. You are. I'm talking about me. There's a bear over there, angry. Whoa! Almost got got. Huh? You almost got got, man. How? About... <laughs> you need to watch what you're shooting. You need to watch your build. Go ahead. <laughs> Fucking tree. We get. Oh my God, rifle is the best. Oh, he don't even want to talk about my aim. Oof. You only got one eye. I should be used to it by now. Who the fuck has said that? Sounds like, um... Glory, I think. Oh shit! Oh! Ow! some food That wouldn't be him saying yes. No. Nope. Nope. Hello. No, I would never say I was scared. Come on in. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Hello. Hello, would you give me just a moment? Uh, my colleague is so torn up. There was so much bombing due to the stack threat. Are you okay, Susan? Yes, I'm okay. Thank you. Right, oh. Well, we've established that everyone's fine. How are you doing? I, I, I am well, Director. Nice to meet you, Susan. Uh, I'm not sure if you two have met, uh, but this is Chris. He's my associate. Hello. Nice to meet you. Ah, oh, uh, pleasure to meet you, Chris. Yes, it's lovely. Lovely to meet you both. Second time uh, I'm arriving yeah. here. Oh, it's very nice. Um, yeah, it's a bit... Uh, currently, it's a little empty. Um, we There was a security breach, uh, but that has been resolved now. Um, so, yeah. Um, just give me one second. Oh, oh well, how nice of Elusive on the radio there. So, uh, Director, I, I asked you here, um, 
uh, to to just kind of discuss the current situation with uh, the the state of affairs here on the island and then the deliveries uh, that are currently on hold due to the infighting between uh, affiliates here and um, and to also say thank you um, I'm, I'm sure you can see that I am now whole um, so there was a lot of uh, I know that was a lot of your doing there and I greatly appreciate that. Um, I am forever <laughs> quite li literally and figuratively in debt uh, to Usman uh, for the uh, for for that. Um, but uh, but no, um, I'm hoping that um, that you have seen some sort of improvement in the um, uh, the com the culture here on the island for. Um, between the the affiliates, uh, that maybe you would consider talking to your colleagues about reestablishing um, the orders here on the island uh, for Esmen reps. Um, I am and I'm, I'm ready to open. Uh, I just have no product, and I'd like to place my foot my first order. Um, I I do still continue to be harassed on the radio by um, by Mr. Elusive up north, but um, I he's a senior rep and uh you know i'm just a lonely new rep so i can't really uh can't really compete with that and i can't control him um but uh, i'd like to i'd like to start doing business okay this seems very fair um well i can certainly discuss it with the team uh i think we've seen well i'll be honest with you uh we have we have seen an improvement from your uh behavior uh Perhaps a bit more improvement could be found on Mr. Luke's behalf, wouldn't you agree, Susan? Mm, yes, quite. So, um, yes, I think we could discuss this. Uh, once we get back, we can uh, we can certainly send a memo. Um, yeah, are you currently waiting on a shipment to open this place? Not the yeah, place? Um, so um, we were again during that security lapse uh the entire facility was cleared out um again as i said we were able to solve that um rectify that situation so i do have a an order here um that maybe you could drop off in one of the inboxes when you get back um but, uh, the mainland oh yes of course It's quite a large order, um, but it is my uh, it is my first one. So you know, um, the most important thing about this shop that I'm hoping to do is, um, rather than um, our esteemed customers coming in and placing an order and then having to wait, you know, and pay ahead of time and then having to wait to uh, to get their supplies for the next shipment, I'd like to have a stock in house so that. Someone can walk up, order what they need, and leave with it the same day so that we can get quality weapons into the hands of, of people here on the island. Well, this looks good. I shall, uh, I shall definitely bring this to mind. Yes, it is a very big, possibly the greatest. Susan, would I be exaggerating if I said that... Uh, do not have Espen products flowing here like water. Uh, it is probably the greatest tragedy of our century. Yes, I very much agree, yes. I would definitely agree. It is a, it is a travesty. Um, it, gives, uh, it gives the Espen dogs the ability to gain a larger foothold than they should ever deserve. Yes, this is this is absolutely un... It's, it's not... Uh, mm. Yes, this is not acceptable whatsoever. Uh, I believe I'll I'll talk to my department and we'll see if we can get something going. Wonderful. Um, I'm hearing chatter on the uh, um, on the uh, the radio um, regarding uh, maybe stag operatives here at the airfield. Um, so. That could be very dangerous for you guys. Um, I don't have a very large security force, but Chris and I are both willing to lay down our lives to protect you to get out of here. 
Well, I tell you what, we'll, uh, we have the helicopter. Uh, uh, let's call in helicopter support. We'll wait in here. Is this a secure facility? Is there any places where they could perhaps uh, sighting in? Uh, no. If you're in here, maybe in this. Just yeah, oh, this sorry. area. But if we're waiting here, let's see if we can't call our. Uh, give us a moment Ooh. to call our uh, team. Sure. Kitchen. I need, I need a second pair of eyes. Can you see out the window? I'm too short. <laughs> like East 105, there's a bush. There's like something next to it. Hill. dead infected. Okay.
Were you were you hit? Hit what? You hit me in the head. Never. Smells like Aspen victory. Hubbard, as a, as a person out there, he got knocked out by a bear. Come look. Oh yeah? I saw, I saw him using a bandage. No doubt, let me look out on your back. Oh. Okay, not the head. Jesus. Fine. He just woke back up. <laughs> Hubbard, he, he just woke back up again. We got, a tango, we got a tango at the back door. Got a tango at the back door.
the hell are you shooting at? There was a zombie that some dude brought over here. <laughs> I just had to roast the guy on the radio about the bear attack. <laughs> Do you have to see this shit? It's the funniest shit ever. There's, there's so many people out there trying to get away from these. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Hubbard. Coming. Coming, Director. Yes, Director. We'll, um... Well, I think we'll, uh, we'll try and depart now. Um, the, uh, the bombardment have taken care of many of the infected. Uh, or many of the stag threat. We've made sure to avoid the, uh, the concrete as to not damage the rebuild process, um, ah, targeting you. the woodland, where they seem to be encamped from what reports seem to be kid. Um, it seems like uh, the bombardment has attracted a large amount of undead, so we'll use them to sneak out. Ah, smart. Well, we have the front door and we have this back door over here. Um, we'll go out the, uh, we'll go out the back, so to speak. Alright. Um, I think the helicopter is moving south, so we'll, uh, yes, we'll be on our way. Alright. Thank you, Director. Be safe. Thank you, too.
Alright, let's go into the office and let's discuss this order. Okay.